All right, so we're going to go in here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing back in here right now. What I had to do was I had to cut a hole behind the tub. All right, the reason I had to do that, I cut this piece of drywall out because there wasn't an access panel back here. All right, so I'm in behind my tub right now. If you're looking in here, this is the uh, this is the overflow waste control for the P-trap. All right, that goes right into the side of the tub. We're going to be pulling that out. And the big thing we're going to be doing here right now is I'm going to cut the hot and cold water lines. I'm going to put what's called temporary caps on here because right now we have the water shut off to the house and I have to turn the water back on so the homeowners can use the water in the rest of the house. So i got to cut these lines so that we can cut the tub out of here. So I'm going to use my PEX cutter and my caps. And what I'm using here, this is called a PEX cutter. The reason I'm using a PEX cutter with a razor blade in it is because these are not copper pipes. These are made out of plastic. It's called PEX. So I'm just going to use this little cutting tool to cut these. Real simple. Just put it on there and squeeze. There's one side. And there's the other side. Alright, and I just cut into the hot and cold water lines. Here they are. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take these half inch PEX caps. Alright, these are made by a company called SharpBite. And these are push on half inch shutoffs. All right. And I'm just going to stick them on the end here and just push. That's it. That's a watertight seal. On the hot water, I'm going to do the same thing again with the cold water. Now, if these were copper pipes, I'd be using these same PEX half inch push on shutoffs. All right. Now, I've capped off the hot and cold water. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask John to go turn the water back onto the house and we'll make sure that we got no water leaking from these two lines and then I can go ahead and tear the tub out. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to tear the tub out. What I did was I took my regular utility blade and I just went around the top of the tub about two inches, three inches off the top of the tub and I cut around here with my blade, which I didn't show you but I can show you what I did. I just cut along there. I'm exposing this right here. This is the flange to the tub unit. If you have a fiberglass unit, you have a flange. The flange is behind the drywall. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hammer, and I'm just going along where I just cut with the razor blade, and I'm knocking that out. Right? And I'm finding the flange back in there by getting the drywall off of it. My hammer. It's right behind, it's right behind here. All right, so I'm going to expose that first. All right, so that's where I'm going to be going in with my sawzall, top of my flange. I'm going to cut this tub in like four or five different pieces. Now, if you're going to be using a sawzall, use a bi-metal blade, which means it cuts metal or wood. All right, don't just use a wood blade because it'll, it's a little too rugged for this uh, fiber vest. You want something a little finer teeth on your blade. I've got a bi-metal blade in here, and this is my sawzall, and this is a reciprocating blade, goes in and out real fast. I'm going to stick it here, I'm going to cut right down through this tub, the whole way through, and then cut it into pieces, alright? That's how you get a fiberglass one-piece tub out of your house. You got to wear your safety glasses. Now this is going to make a little bit of noise, I'm going to keep that door shut. Thank you. All right. So this is cutting the fiberglass shower. Yeah. Here we go. 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 Cordless drill with a Phillips head to it. 
you can see up here that the original installers ran drywall screws right through the flange at each 2x4. Alright, so we're going to have to pull those out to release the tub. screws going down the side of the tub over here as well because there's a flange on the side as well. So I'll need that razor blade again. So we can get it out nice and clean. specifically to hang tile on, alright, because we're putting back in just the tub. I'm going to put back in just the tub and um, the walls are going to be concrete board and tile. The whole way to the ceiling on this wall, this whole wall, and this wall, okay? So we got to get this whole mess out of here. We're going to sit a new cast iron tub in here and then I'm going to show you how we're going to prep these walls for our tile project. All right? There's a right way and a wrong way to do it so your tile never falls off the wall. Obviously, there's a right way and a wrong way. Uh, so we're going to get the rest of this tub out of here the same way. I'm going to cut it up into pieces with my Sawzall. We're going to get it all out of here. section. There it is. Alright, so here we, here we are with these two pipes that we capped over here in the closet. But we had to get these cut to get the tub out, so we can see all that stuff now. There's going to be a new trap going down in the floor here, which is going to come up with a new tub, and we'll be doing all that plumbing down in this hole in the floor here, where the trap goes down and comes back up. And what the trap does, essentially, is it fills with water. Water always lays in the trap, and then that way, sewage gas can't back up, because sewage gas cannot go through water. So the water acts as a barrier to keep the vapor from coming out of your tub drain. All right, that's what a trap does. In case you didn't know what a trap does, that's what they do. They stop, they stop sewage gas. So we can get rid of that. It might still have water in it. Yeah, that garbage. Um, so this is the area where we're actually going to be sitting our tub back in. Now this should come out as well. With some careful maneuvering. All right. Don't pull that stuff out of there. really the only possible way to get these out of here because you can't walk them back through the house. We'll probably carry these two pieces down right out the front door. Now we're going to shop back this up, sweep it up, and what we're going to do next is we're going to tear off the remaining drywall in this enclosure here on all three sides, the whole way to the ceiling, because our new substrate, our new wonder board, our concrete board that our tile is going to go on is going to go all the way up to the ceiling. So we have to take 
three, these three pieces off and we'll get the rest of the shower head out of here and everything get it all cleaned up shop back and ready for our new tub we're actually almost ready to put our new tub back in right now that quick so we'll get this cleaned up and then we'll talk about the tub and what we're going to do up here to prepare for our tile board back when we come back